Noon and, uh, and others. Uh -huh. So the, uh, 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 the unity government is supposed to be controlling these um, mm -hmm. um, places. Uh -huh. But what, what uh, Hamas has done is, okay, you are going to control it, and then there is another control by us, like, uh, you know, uh, 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 a kilometer away. Yeah. So, so it is controlled by this, and then we are controlling it again. So Hamas is, so this is one small little uh, uh, thing to, to, to tell you the story that, you know, the, the, the real story, which is Hamas doesn't believe that unity government should take over everything in Gaza. Mm -hmm. Hamas want to be there, want to control Gaza and everything. Mm -hmm. So part of the of the problem is, or part of the struggle, power struggle is, you is using you know uh, these employees. They were not employed mm -hmm. by the for, by the, by Fatah government when Fatah was controlling Gaza. Mm -hmm. You know years ago, mm -hmm. they were employed only when Hamas took power. Right. And they work for Hamas, mm -hmm. and their lo lo loyalty is supposed to be to Hamas. Mm -hmm. And now, after the unification, Hamas wants the, uni the, the, the uh, unity government to pay for their salaries. I don't see any problem. You know, I, I believe you know the unity government is ready to pay their salaries, mm -hmm. but the idea is who is controlling Gaza. Mm -hmm. This is this is the bigger the bigger title or the bigger umbrella. Mm -hmm. If Hamas will uh, finally accept the idea that unity government is unity government it's a real government they should control everything and Fatah or, or you know or not Fatah or, or the Palestinian Authority should have you know uh, con full control of um, uh, whatever is happening in in, uh, in, uh, in Gaza if Hamas will accept that I think this problem will be solved in two days mm -hmm. if the money is there <coughs> if the money is ah. there. <coughs> right and moving on to the Daily Star and the headline reads Spanish Foreign Minister urges more help for rebuilding on Gaza visit. Spanish Foreign Minister Jose Manuel Garcia called for more international help for Gaza as he met with families who lost their homes in last summer's Israeli offensive on the Strip. Although the fighting stopped more than four months ago, reconstruction has yet to begin in earnest for a variety of reasons, including delays caused by the conditions of Israel's blockade on the territory. Standing next to him, Pierre Cranebel, the, mission, the Commissioner General of the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees, UNRWA, warned that delaying the reconstruction would have negative consequences. Uh, how could these statements urge the international community to act rapidly to uh, rebuild Gaza? Again, it's a very nice statement, but it doesn't reflect, it doesn't say the whole picture. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, this blockade by Israel was eased a bit, a bit, not, not much during the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. And I think more, more um, uh, cement and, 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 and you know, building materials um, um, are, are, are going into Gaza, but not in the quantities uh, the, uh, Gaza needs. Right. But again, the story is not uh, whether uh, you know, the international community should help more or not. The idea is who is controlling Gaza. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, we had a very uh, mm -hmm. clear statement by somebody from the Palestinian Authority a mm -hmm. few days ago saying, th saying that we will, I mean, co to reconstruct Gaza is related to a full control of, uh, you know, the life in Gaza by the unity government. Mm -hmm. And again, it is, I, I understand this logic and I understand why they are doing this. Because the main idea of unity government is to make... Uh, one Palestinian entity to be able to uh, uh, fight uh, uh, Israelis um, uh, behavior on the ground and you know and uh, and, and to be able to negotiate uh, a peaceful settlement mm -hmm. on the other side on the other hand uh, uh, Hamas doesn't like this kind of unity they want to keep controlling uh, Gaza and uh, such an idea um, is not useful for the Palestinian cause mm. and nobody would accept uh, I'm talking about Palestinians and, and perhaps Egyptians and other Arab countries mm. too will, will accept such a situ situation where Palestinians are divided mm. and, and uh, we, we, we are not supposed to support any action that would not be useful uh, for the Palestinian people and the Palestinian cause. Mm -hmm. So again, if you want mm -hmm. to reconstruct mm -hmm. Gaza, I think a lot of things could be done mm. only if Hamas would understand that unity government is a unity government and Hamas, the role Hamas playing in Gaza
should be you know uh, uh, should should minimize not minimize to to the minimum mm. to the minimum and and Hamas should be just a political group over there are not controlling they don't understand this they don't want to do it they are still playing the game mm. okay we some papers we are, but we are controlling on the ground there are some people mm. that you know are representing the unity <laughs> government mm. but those people are just sitting in their offices but you know there are people under that are taking control and they are doing everything i know because i have friends and they tell me from gaza right. so even the, if there is a minister <coughs> over there he doesn't have the power to 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 run his ministry mm. others you know the the, the 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 deputy minister and perhaps those are the real powerful ones and they still belong to hamas and these are the ones hamas wanted their salaries to be paid mm -hmm. Right, and moving on to the Washington Post, and the headline reads, French lawmakers expand military action against IS in Iraq. And the news reads, French lawmakers overwhelmingly approve continuing airstrikes against Daesh militants in Iraq as part of a U.S.-led coalition. Prime Minister Manuel Valls urged Parliament to extend the operation, saying, our mission is not over, we are faced with a war against terrorism. While the vote is routine required to extend any French military intervention after four months, uh, how do you see the consequences of uh, this? Uh, what do you think are the consequences? A month ago, one on an Egyptian, uh, another TV uh, 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 channel. channel, exactly, mm -hmm. but in Arabic, mm -hmm. we were talking about uh, terrorism in Europe and everything, and I, I said I'm expecting. A lot of activity, ter ter you know, um, um, acts of terror in, in Europe in the mm. coming uh, few months, mm. because I see this preparation for a ground uh, troops deployment, European and American, mm -hmm. Western in general, mm. deployment in Iraq, and th there are preparations, and you have to have, you have to convince mm. the public opinion in Europe and America that you know there is a need to send such troops to Iraq and mm. perhaps to Syria or whatever. Right. So I was expecting this acts of terror mm -hmm. because that would be the tool or the way to convince the European public opinion and the American public opinion that look, terrorists are coming to our homeland mm -hmm. or, or to our uh, uh, countries mm -hmm. to, to hurt us. We have to go and fight to them over there. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that what has happened two days ago or three days ago or, or you know, I don't know, a few days ago mm -hmm. in France is related to that mm -hmm. directly. But what I'm saying is if this uh, incident was, uh, uh, is going to, uh, was used to, you know, and now mm -hmm. the parliament cannot say no, you know, they mm -hmm. have to, I mean, after this action, after, after this parade or this, you know, demonstrations in the streets by millions, how come they say mm -hmm. no to attack terrorists wherever they are. So this is, if, 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 is, if it is, if, if the parliament or the politicians have used this incident to pass mm -hmm. this uh, decision by the parliament, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure there are more that is going that are going to happen in Europe and mm -hmm. perhaps in the United States in Canada and Australia in the countries that the troops are supposed to form the new coalition mm -hmm. in the area mm -hmm. to convince the people that you know troops should be sed sent over there who is going to do this uh, um, uh, violent actions mm -hmm. I'm not sure right. their names might be Mustafa Mohammed Abdus Salam whatever mm -hmm. but the ones behind them might have different names Mm. And, and or perhaps other people with, with different names will use it and then Mustafa and Mohammed will be accused of doing this. I'm not saying that, you know, again, I'm, I'm against, I'm not say, I'm, I'm against any violent actions, not against we should attack people, but mm. what I'm saying is a, a, a political game is a very <sighs> bad game. Right. It, I'm not, I don't want it's to always like that. It's yes. I don't mm. want to, to use I don't want to use bad bad words, but it's not a clean game, you know, and yeah. people might do bad things mm -hmm. to achieve political uh, achievements and on and on uh, at the very end only the the uh, you know people in the streets, you know, pay, yeah, the yeah, pay the price. Yes, they are the ones that go to fight and they are the ones that you know are killed in the, in such in such violent actions. This is to our uh, distinguished guest, Mr. Samah Abdullah, managing editor of Ahram. Many thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure to be here. Thank you, sir. Uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, with this, we come to the end of this edition of World Today. Many thanks for watching and stay tuned for more coming up your knowledge international.